Welcome to Old Mission Boat Company's construction videos for the Boardman 14. In this video, I will show you how to install the transom taper blocks. The transom taper blocks are a pair of wood strips that are epoxied onto the very back edge of the bottom panel to help stiffen the back edge of the boat. Their name comes from the fact that the blocks are shaped to match the last two inches of the transom curve. They are tapered from about a half inch thick down to an eighth inch or less. First, you will need to cut them to length. Start by placing the end of the block against the center longitudinal and then drawing a line that matches the angle of the side panel. You don't need to make them fit tight. In fact, cut them a little bit short so that they don't set down onto the fillets on either end. Any gaps you leave can be filled with thickened epoxy. After you mark the lines, use a small handsaw to cut them into two blocks. You can check the proper position by placing a straight edge across the entire transom and making sure the top surface of the taper blocks lines up with the frames. The blocks will not fit all the way to the back edge of the transom, but rather will stop short by about a quarter inch. Draw a line along the forward edge of the blocks to mark the exact position to install them. Mix up a single batch of slightly thickened epoxy and apply a thin layer to the bottom panel, but be careful to stop short of the line that marks the front edge of the blocks. Now carefully set the blocks onto the bottom panel with only the forward edge touching and lined up with the marks. Leave the thin back edge slightly elevated then place a line of CA glue along the entire forward edge where it sets down onto the bottom panel and follow that with a quick spray of the activator. Hold that position for about 5 to 10 seconds and allow the stitch to set up. Now carefully rotate the block down onto its aft edge. The liquid stitch hinge will keep the blocks from slipping forward while you use some spring clamps to hold the block down. Leave these clamps in place until the epoxy cures or until you are ready to set the top in the next step.